الحمد لله وحده وصلاة وسلام على رسول الله أما بعد. Today أحب في الله I'm gonna narrate to you a story. A story where is absolutely very very important, very very important for you to sit and listen to it all the way to the end. It's a story of a young man who is in his teen, twenty, twenty-two. His name is Badr. Badr was a very loving boy to their family. He used to love to go to the desert, traveling, beach. He used to love all these stuff. He had no worries in his head. And one of the days, he ended up in a gathering with young men. And these young men started talking about juniors. And then they start talking about a specific book that you can call the Jinjins. Now, their brother was fascinated by the story. And he thought, I need to find this book. The book is called Sheen Alif Alif. He went and searched it and searched it and searched it and got, got hold of it. And then he start reading the book slowly. He goes home and he reads the book, few paragraphs, and goes back to the desert and stays in the desert for a few days and come, come back. While he's in the, in the desert reading the book, something started to happen in the home the Badr leaves. And then Badr comes back home and stays in his room. Badr had one brother and one sister and a mother and a father. So his brother Abdullah started to experiencing things in the house. First night he started hearing people talking up in the roof. Second night he hears again these sounds and he says to himself, let me go and investigate. When he opens the door, he saw a massive, massive dog and he screamed and shut the door and closed the door. And he waited for a bit and he goes and tells his dad. Now his dad walks up and starts looking around the house together with Abdullah. Abdullah was old. He was about 25. Now, they look around and then his dad started telling Abdullah, Abdullah, you're mental. Go away. There's nothing here. And he goes back to sleep. The second day, Abdullah hears the voices in the house. And he starts wondering what needs to be done. His father does not believe him. What needs to happen? And he kept quiet. He didn't do anything. The third day, his sister went and knocked on Badr's room and gave Badr the food. But Badr did not open the door. She knocked, 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 knocked. Badr starts screaming from inside and saying, why are you disturbing me? And then his sister left the food outside the door and she left. But she heard Badr talking to somebody, but she doesn't know who is he talking to. The same night, the sister goes down and sits down in the living room. She puts the TV on and she saw a massive man come to her and she starts screaming. The man gives her a big slap in the neck and he runs towards the toilet and the scream brought the mother and the father down and Abdullah all of them 
and they start wondering what's going on. What's going on? His father tells his daughter, his daughter what's going on? She says, a man, I've seen a big man run towards the toilet and she's looking in the door of the toilet and in her neck, she's got massive marks of smart bruise. The father goes in the toilet and he opens the door of the toilet and goes inside and he checks the window is open but nobody is there and he starts blaming his own daughter and saying it's your own fault you leave the door open you leave the windows open what do you expect people will come here and cause problems and he closes the window everyone goes back to his rooms he goes back with his wife and they were relaxed. Now, the next day following, Abdullah hears the sound in the house, movement, movement in the stairs, movement in the in the attic, in the upper floor room. Boo, he's reluctant to tell his dad or mom that there's, there's a problem. And his mom, on that night, his mom comes down to the stairs. While she's coming down to the stairs, she saw a woman from a distance that she's coming her face is facing towards the other side so she can only see the hair and she had a very long hair and she's coming and she start telling oh my daughter is that you oh my daughter is that you and slowly slowly approaching the woman who's combing the hair now when she got closer the woman turned the mother screamed and collapsed, fainted, flat. The, everybody in the house heard and they went down to the mother and telling, oh, mom, what's going on? Mom, what's going on? They were caught up and she woke up and she says, I saw a woman, very ugly woman in this spot. And she starts saying to the husband, something needs to be done now because first was Abdullah. Second was the daughter. Third was her. What they did is they call a sheikh. A sheikh came and that night before calling a sheikh, they put Surah Baqarah in the house. And Surah Baqarah playing. And Badr comes out from his room screaming no! so no! bad, saying, why are you playing the Quran? You're disturbing me. You're disturbing me from in my room. Turn the Quran off. It. They turned the Quran off. And after a while, they put it back again. Badru goes back in his room. Now, the next day, the father goes and finds a sheikh from the request of the mother. The sheikh comes and cleans the rooms, down rooms everywhere. Only the room of Badr, he did not go. And the sheikh leaves and goes back to his home. And everybody is happily, peacefully staying that day. Nice. But what happened in the night is that they hear Badr screaming. And they all run towards Badr room. And Badr room is locked. They start banging. And the father tells shout Badr open the door I'll break the door nobody opens the door Abdullah and the father breaks the door and they go in they saw Badr in the corner beating up he's got marks all over the body and when the father and Abdullah and the mother and the sister of Badr enters the room they saw writing all over the room down the walls up everywhere and the minute they enter inside, the toilet door banged like somebody closed it. The father started reading at Kursi, reading at Kursi. Badr is shaking, Badr is shaking there. The father goes to the toilet. The toilet is in a mess. He has never seen it like that before. And they, Badr is screaming and saying, you're killing me. You're killing me with whatever you are doing. And he drags his son and goes, takes him to his room and everybody goes to the suit 
of the father and the mother. They all stay there, the three kids, the daughter and the two boys, Abdullah and Badr. Now, they start hearing noises and people talking and people laughing outside. And Abdullah says to his dad, Dad, I need to go and check. Remember that's in the night. And Badr replies back, go out and you'll see, you're gonna get killed. Go out and you'll see, you're gonna get killed. His father told him, no, nobody should go out until in the morning. And Badr laughs. <laughs> but in fact, this, the, this laughter is not from Badr, it's from the jinni who's possessing Badr. That night was a very, very long night for them. So in the morning came and the father comes out and locks the room inside Badr and goes and gets the same sheikh and sheikh comes and looks inside Badr room and he sees random writings, crazy writings inside Badr room and he says to the father, O oh Abu Badr, your son Badr was doing magic on himself and he was reading this book. Sheen Alif Alif. This book is the book to call the genius. So he called a tribe of a genius. Listen, not one or two, tribe of a genius in the house because of what he was doing. But he could not be able to get rid of them. So the Sheikh started reading in the room and cleaning the writings and the ta'weez, the, the symbols, the sihrul huruf, the sihrul talas, and all. He started rubbing and he goes to Badr and read on Badr, read on Badr, read on Badr. And then he requested to have more sheikhs come in, in the house because now in the house, there is a tribe of jinns living in the house. And he requested to the dad to leave the house, to go and live somewhere else and they've read on Badr a lot so the next day they parked and lived the house they rented another house and they live there not every day the father comes with a few sheikhs in the house they read they spray they clean everywhere and they do everything and they gave him one advice that you should not come back again here better to you to sell this house what happened to Badr Badr became mentally sick. He speaks to himself, he lives on his own, and the Sheikh advised for him to have more and more rockets until he gets better. And this is the level of young kids who goes and read these magic books which are very, very easy to get hold of. This book is called Sheen Alif Alif. It's a book you can call the devil, but it's a very serious book. It's not a book that you should be reading. The only book you should be reading is the Quran and get to know the Quran, not to get to know the jinns and they cause problem like the way they cause problem to Badr. So it's an advice for you young men and young kids that you should be learning your religion. This is because of lack of understanding of the religion. That is why Badr got hold of a book like that and read and now look at the state of him. Until today, he's like that. Allah knows best. Inshallah, stay tuned for more stories to come. Wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.